Twenty years passed, but the forest never forgot. The trees still bore scars, the silence still whispered of that day. No one dared to return, until now. February 1927. Leningrad. One man stepped forward. Leonid Kulik, a decorated veteran, a geologist, and head of the Soviet meteorite research program. Driven by questions no one dared ask, he wasn't just following rumors, he was chasing evidence. After weeks through frozen rivers and endless taiga, Kulik and his team stepped into something unreal. The forest wasn't standing, it was lying down. Over 80 million trees, snapped mid-air, scorched at the base, all flattened in perfect rings, pointing away from a center that held nothing. For over 2,000 square kilometers, nature had been crushed flat, as if the land itself had been struck from above. The explosion released an estimated 15 to 30 megatons of energy. That's nearly a thousand times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. After the Siberian blast, skies across Europe glowed eerily. People read at midnight without lamps. A letter to the Times described homes lit like daylight. The explosion sent waves across continents. In 1908, Tunguska struck remote Siberia, flattening forests and baffling science. But what if it hit today? A city, not a forest. Millions at risk. Global systems down. Crisis in seconds. We still don't know what hit us then. But the real fear? What if it returns?